and welcome back to my channel today obviously I'm going to be creating this look this is a soft girly makeup look which I was requested and it's actually drugstore getting all the drugstore products out today I actually filmed this look not even meaning for it to be a drugstore I sort of just started off going oh yeah I'll just use this and this and I was really really just winging it I got through to the end of the video and I used all drugstore products and I was just like I five myself for that. I didn't even do it on purpose. Just shows that you can really use drugstore products and still get a glamorous look. And I used a little bit of a wing, which most of the time people with hooded eyes don't really like wings, but I just want to show you that you can wing it. Just wing it, people. The highlight, highlight on fleek. Yep, I said it. Highlight on leak. So I'm really happy with how this look turned out. If you haven't already, please subscribe below to my channel. Click that red button. I say this in every video. Oh, look at my arms. Um, so like this video if you like this video. Comment below if you would like to see how I get to this look. Please keep watching. So I'm going to start nice and zoomed in on myself. As you can tell, I've already done the base of my foundation and I just used um, the L'Oreal Matte 24 Hour Foundation that I've been using a lot lately. I'm going to use my Superstay Maybelline Better Skin um, Concealer in Light. You guys would have seen this in my last video. It is like holy grail. I'm just going to apply this over my eyelid as a base first. Oh shit. I'm actually really excited to do this girly look today because it's just so nice and soft. To set my eyes, as usual, I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in 018 Creamy Beige. I'm just going to give the um, brow bone a slight highlight and I'm just going to use the BH Cosmetics Bombshell Bronzer really just to slightly highlight the brow bone to really make them look big and accentuated. I just zoomed you in a little bit more, but I do find that my camera goes out of focus a lot, so I'll try really hard to make sure that that doesn't happen. For the crease, I'm actually going to use this brand new Models Prefer Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I got this the other day in Priceline, and you know how I was talking about how I couldn't find my like perfect crease shadow? Guys, look. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, so it's got 10 shades. Look how cute it is. I'm not really using this palette today, but... That's my brother, can you hear him? It's got the perfect caramelly brown transition shade, like I can't even deal. So I'll definitely do a smoky eye look with this palette and my Sigma Soft Blank Concealer Brush. Really lightly, you don't really need much of a crease. It's just sort of to add a little bit of definition. Bring it out, the usual. Next, I'm moving on to the main palette for today, which is the BH Cosmetics Wild at Heart palette. Um, this is the baked eyeshadow palette. I've seen you would have seen me use this or the Wild Child palette before. Very similar. I'm going to use mostly these sort of shades, neutral, pinky, purpley shades. I find that they actually look quite dark, but they go on soft. And I wore it, and I was like, this is like perfect for a soft girly look. Oh my god! First, I'm going to use this Coastal Scents brush. I'm going to use this. It's probably the most purpliest, darkest shade, and I'm just going to apply that sort of in a triangle, like out, out of corner triangle and into the crease. They don't go on super strong, but this one's quite dark and it's very um, purpley. Really soften it up quite a lot. You can sort of blend it more to like the um, middle of your eye as well. I might have applied slightly too much purple, but whatever. Just go with the flow. Just applying more of the brown transition shade that I had before, just to soften it up a little bit more. Next, I'm going to use this more of like a gray. So I'm just gonna use this flat, fluffy brush just to sort of apply it over my moving eyelid. And up into my crease. Next I'm going to use this flat brush to sort of apply it, it's sort of like a goldy shade. I'm going to apply that sort of over the top of the grey and also more into the inner corner of the eye. Then I'm going to go back in and use the same nude that I was using before, blending it into the inner corner slightly a bit more. 
and sort of blending the rest of the shadows together. Just to brighten the eyes up a little bit more in the inner corner, I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil because I find that this really opens up your eyes and makes it look super soft. Next, I'm going to do the lower lash line. I'm just going to apply the smallest amount of um, black eyeliner using the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. And I'm only going to apply it to the outer lower lash line really lightly. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. I'm just going to use this colour from the Nude Palette. It's a very shimmery, light brown shade. Just blending in the black slightly. Bringing it up as well. Before I apply lashes, I am going to use the Rimmel Glam Eyes Professional Liquid Eyeliner. I'm just going to do like the smallest, smallest attempt at doing a very um, natural wing. Of course I do it perfect before and I like fuck it up now. So the struggle is real with liner today, but you get the point, it's sort of just like, well not a very big flick or tail, whatever you call it, um, and sort of that far really not bringing it in at all so that you can wear it if you have a hood of your eye and you're worried about all the eye going away. The lashes I'm using, oh clearly they're falling off. I'm going to use the Cara 100% Human Hair Lashes number 1 Black, as you can see, very soft and simple. Honestly guys, the struggle is so real today with my eyelashes. They are not working out properly, but I'm just going to have to soldier on. And I'm just going to apply the Maybelline Falsies just underneath to sort of blend them in. Next I'm going to apply the Rimmel Exaggerate Liner in 213 Nude. Brightens them up a lot too. Now I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. I am feeling really washed out today. I'm going to go back and use the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer and just conceal my under eye area because it is amazing at that. First I'm just going to set my under eyes using the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Powder and Transparent. Just really setting only under the eyes, leaving around here. Next I'm going to use the Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Palette just to set under the eyes to give it that great highlight. You could also use um, the Face of Australia and it is the Translucent Loose Powder. Just really slightly under the eyes, just to stop the concealer from creasing at all. We are just going to let that sit and bake for a minute. I feel like I look like a crazy person. I'm actually going to do my lips next while I wait for the baking, which is pretty much what I always do anyway. I'm actually going to use the Australis Velour Lips Matte Lip Cream, and it is in the color Paris. Yeah. So these are sort of like an Australian dupe for Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lips. It's sort of a, more like a pinky nude. It's just much more nude than I would normally wear, but I really am obsessed with this lip colour. And I normally hate nudie pinks, you know how I feel about that. It's a really pale, but so perfect. Next I'm going to finish the baking. I'm going to use my Face of Australian Mineral Therapy Foundation Natural Mineral Loose Powder, which I use all the time. What's the colour? I always forget the colour. Natural Beige. I'm just going to use my Soft Blend Concealer Brush and dust it off nice and lightly. I'm going to set my forehead using the Rimmel Creamy Beige Press Matte Powder. Sort of around here. I'm just gonna put a bit of a highlight up here so I don't wanna set there just so. I'm really liking how this look is looking. Look is, look is looking, look is looking, looking. I'm going to use a, the e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip and I'm just going to apply it, really dabbing it up here as you can see. Sorry, my phone's vibrating. See? 
here. Along down a bit to the cheekbone and up into the temple. Just to make it look that little bit more natural. Look at that blue. I'm just going to take it one step further with the highlight and use the BH Cosmetics Bombshell Bronze again. And just this, the lightest, like, white shade. And just highlight over the top of the highlight that we've just done. Because we're just taking it really to the extreme. I'm literally going to bronze like the tiniest bit using the Maybelline Master Highlight. It's meant to be a highlighting blush. This is definitely, as you can kind of see, a bit more of a bronzy, it's more corally. Just going to do these hollows of my cheeks and up around, really just adding a slight amount of colour to the cheeks and bringing it up, just up on my forehead as usual. I do like to frame the face and sort of make me appear to be a bit more bronzed than I really am. My lips were feeling a little bit dry, so I just put some lip gloss on. This is the finished look of the day. I really hope you enjoyed this look. I really enjoyed making it. I feel like I didn't even intentionally make this. I didn't even intentionally make this a drugstore video, and then it ended up being that I actually only used all drugstore products, which really shows that you can have a flawless, amazing face without using all the high-end products. So thank you so much again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, as always. And let me know in the comments below if you liked this video and if you would like to see anything else, as I always say. But I hope you guys have an awesome, 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 awesome day, and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye!